Happy St. Patrick's Day! I'm gonna be doing a set of 12 St. Patrick's Day rocks. I'm gonna be using Tropical Beach Pebbles, Exotic Garden Stones, and someone asked me in the comments where did I get these from, and I got them from Lowe's. I'm gonna go through these, pick out the 12 that I want, I'm going to do six of them pretty nice size so I can paint a little something on them. And then I'm going to get a few medium sized ones and then three small ones. And I'm going to do these to be decorative to go with the larger rocks. And for these St. Patrick Day rocks, I'm going to hydro dip with the green paint nail polish. And then I'm going to use acrylic markers to paint something fun on them, giving them each their own character. The rocks I'm painting with the markers, I'm going to be doing separate videos for, so the videos aren't so long. Now I've got a container full of water. This is a skewer stick, and I'm going to be using it to skim off the top any leftover nail polish. Now I got all these nail polishes from the Dollar Tree, which is really a great bargain. And I went through and picked up all their greens. I guess at each Dollar Tree, it depends on what they're carrying at the time. They used to carry gold, but all they had left was this gold glitter. So I'm going to try that and see how that goes. I might end up in the end doing something a little different. Now this time I'm going to be sure to use gloves because last time I didn't. And it was not fun trying to get all the nail polish off of me. Now that I got the stones all washed up, let's get started. First, I'm going to hydro dip the rocks using these really nice green fingernail polishes from the Dollar Tree. Now the medium rocks and the small rocks, I'm going to make just decorative. I'm not going to paint on the anything on special on them with the markers. Um, so I'm going to take the first three medium rocks. I'm going to use the same colors, but I'm going to use more of the green. And then for the smaller three decorative rocks, I'm going to use more of the white with just a hint of the green because I want to put a lot of gold all over them with the clear fingernail polish that has all the gold glitter in it. After letting the rocks dry, it's time to color the other side so that they are completely covered. Again, now that the rocks are dry, I'm going to put the clear nail polish that has the gold glitter in it all over the rocks. Some here and there, others covering completely. I love that the glitter is different sizes inside the nail polish. 
Looks like leprechaun's gold shimmering on the rocks. Now I'm going to seal these rocks with Liquitex high gloss varnish. With the rocks sealed and dried, you can see the surface is evenly coated and ready to be painted on. I just love these. They came out beautiful. You could stop right now and they would be finished. So thank you for watching and take a little sip of my matcha latte and I'm going to get started painting the six larger rocks with the acrylic markers. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to check out the next videos see how they came out.